Welcome to JDTV. We have a new series from Force Bar on their spinnaker poles. This first video offers an introduction to the series. Hi, I'm John Kretschmer, sailing on Puget Sound aboard Fathom, a Passport 40 owned by Clyde and Carolyn. They're heading for the South Seas soon, and today we're going to talk about using a Force Bar spinnaker pole to set, to trim, and to douse a conventional symmetrical spinnaker. That's right, symmetrical spinnakers for cruising. They really do work. Most cruisers today carry and fly asymmetrical spinnakers. These are, in essence, oversized jibs, and they're easier to handle. However, there are times you want to go dead downwind, especially when you're running in the trades. Heck, that's what we all dream about. In 17 Atlanta crossings, I'd say the majority of the time you spend running before the wind in light to moderate airs. Those are not great conditions for asymmetrical shoots, but they're perfect for symmetrical shoots. With your easy to deploy force bar spinnaker pole, setting a spinnaker, a conventional spinnaker, is not as difficult as most cruisers imagine, and the rewards offshore are worth it. The miles just roll away under your keel. Today we have Jack Christensen from North Sails to help us set the spinnaker aboard Fathom. Clyde's going to be steer the boat, and Carolyn's going to come up here and work the foredeck with Jack. Now that you know a little bit about spinnaker poles, stay tuned to JDTV for the rest of our series where we will show you how to use one. Remember, you can find four spar spinnaker poles on our website, jamestowndistributors.com.